So which one is the best add-on for Elementor? Well, that's easy. It's... Hello, I'm your host, Casino from Casino.com. I'm the Digital Alchemist, and today we're going to talk about a question that I get asked a lot, which is the best add-on for Elementor? Now, before I answer this question, two things. Well, first of all, this is my opinion based on the add-ons that I actually tried and used. So if your favorite add-on does not get mentioned, don't get offended. It doesn't mean that what I'm giving you today is the best, best add-on, but it's the best add-on that I've found after trying a few of these add-ons. Two, you will find links in the description below. These are affiliate things, which means that I do get a commission if you purchase through my links. Now, it doesn't cost you anything, but it helps the channel. So you don't have to purchase through my link, but if you do, thank you. So, which one is the best of the best add-ons for Elementor and Elementor Pro? Well, first of all, the question is not correct. So instead of asking which one is the best add-on for Elementor, it should be which one is the best add-on for Elementor depending on each use case. And of course, I'm going to answer that. One, it may depend on the situation. If you want a little bit more features and widgets than what you find in Elementor and Elementor Pro, then I believe that Essential Add-ons for Elementor is a nice add-on pack. In fact, I released a video where I go through each and every widget, at least at the time of recording the video, of Essential Add-ons. It comes with great widgets, so I'm not going to go through all of them, but the event calendar is cool uh, and so is the sticky video, which I quite enjoy. Now, if you want more technical features, as well as features that you think should have been in the core of Elementor, then I believe that Piotnet is a great add-on pack, uh, especially the column link. Many people ask how to make a column clickable. Well, this is one of the features that comes with Piotnet. Now, it may not always be the fanciest of add-on packs, and sometimes the usability is not that good in my opinion because you get a lot of stuff added within Elementor but the great thing is like just like for essential add-ons you can actually activate and deactivate what you don't need so your uh, Elementor install is not going to be bloated and that's what I like with those add-on packs and feature wise this is really solid so if you want the features I believe that Piotnet is a great catch. Now, if you want stability, now I recommend Ultimate Add-ons for Elementor. It's been really stable, at least for me. And once again, I'm giving you my opinion based on my experience with those uh, add-on packs. So if you want stability, definitely UAEL. Now, it comes, of course, with a lot of nice widgets and it works really well, especially if you put it within the um, Astra ecosystem because uh, Ultimate Add-ons for Elementor is made by Brainstorm Force, which is the company behind Astra. And it comes with various other plugins. If you take the whole package, we'll talk about that in a moment. But if you're going to use the Astra WordPress theme, whether you use the free version of the premium version, then UAEL is a great companion if you want stability. Now, Ultimate Add-ons for Elementor comes packed with great widgets and features. One of my favorite ones is the Copy Elementor designs from one domain to another. Now, it's not the only add-on pack that does that, but it works really well. In fact, I've used that feature in another plugin. I'm not going to mention which plugin because I'm not the type of person that just wants to demolish other people's work. But I tried using that feature with another plugin and it completely destroyed my website. It messed up the database, it messed up everything. And <laughs> I was really angry. In fact, I've been in touch um, with that company. And like I said, I'm not the kind of person that wants to demolish other companies. And also, it may actually be my fault. You know, before you uh, jump on someone and say, okay, it's your fault. Maybe it was something that had to do with another plugin. Maybe it was the hosting. I don't know. So before I form an opinion, I really want to make sure I will try to reproduce the issue. And I think it's the best way to do things. And then even if it's their fault, then, you know, I can speak to them and we can fix this together. But of course, I'm not going to recommend them. You know, maybe in a future video, I'll come up with a good news telling you, okay, we had the issue with that add-on. I worked with a company and now it works. That's what I really, really hope. 
But to cut a long story short, when it comes to ultimate add-ons for Elementor, that feature works flawlessly, at least at the time of recording this video. Now, if you're looking for original widgets and features, then I believe that dynamic content is a good fit. Now, to be completely transparent, this one, I didn't really try all the features. So I only used a few features on one project, but it worked really well. And while I was going through all of the features, because even if I couldn't test all of it, you know, I was still intrigued by some of the features. And some of them actually talked about in my web design trends video, like for example, the cursor tracker, which I think, you know, it's really great that you can implement it with an add-on. So once again, this for me defines dynamic OOO. I don't know how you have to call it because the URL is dynamic.oo. It comes with many features that I first see on this add-on pack. They come up with some things that other people don't put in their add-on packs. And I think it's really interesting. And it tells a lot about the mentality they have. Now, just like for Piotnet, maybe in terms of usability sometimes, um, I would do things differently, but th that's just me. But in terms of features, uh, it's, it looks really solid and I'm looking forward to use it in future projects. Now, if you want to create dynamic websites, then Jet Engine is a must have. So you can create various custom post types. For example, you could create a travel agency website uh, to help people book tours. You could create a hotel website. You can create pretty much anything you want. And I think there's so much goodness in Jet Engine. I don't know where to start. Now you can get Jet Engine as a single widget or as part of the CrocoBlock subscription. And talking about CrocoBlock, if you want the best bang for your buck, I believe that CrocoBlock is just simply the best all around because you get so many things. Now, granted, some of the other add-on packs are better at what they do, but if you're gonna spend some money and possibly a lot of money, then you get so much with CrocoBlock. Jet appointment, Jet Inkor, Jet Style Manager, Jet Booking, Jet Blocks, Jet Tricks, Jet Reviews, Jet Tabs, Jet Menu, Jet Mood Builder, Jet Smart Filters, Jet Pop-Up, Jet Product Gallery, Jet Compare and Wishlist, Jet Search, Jet Block, Jet Engine, Jet Elements. If I had to do a full video about CrocoBlock, man, I don't know how long that video is gonna be. Now, if money is not an issue and you want the killer combo that's going to get you started with your freelancing or your web agency, then I would go with CrocoBlock and then uh, we we'll go with Ultimate Add-ons for Elementor. But I would take the whole pack because if you take the whole pack, you get ready to use section blocks, you get uh, ready to use full demo websites, you get some free but some premium ones. You get the pro version of the WordPress Astra theme, but you also get um, other plugins like WP Schema, WP Convert Pro, uh, WP Portfolio. It's a full ecosystem and it works so well. Basically, most of the websites I create, I can cover those with what I've just talked about. CrocoBlock, Ultimate Add-ons for Elementor and Astra. That's a killer combo, but granted, it's not free. And that's precisely what we're talking about in our next point. Two, it may depend on your budget. So essential add-ons for Elementor starts at $39.97 for one website. And that's the price for one year. And it goes up to $169.97 for lifetime unlimited websites. So that's a great deal in my opinion and kind of a no-brainer. Now you can go with the agency bundle with many other plugins like Notification X, Better Docs Pro, and Bed Press Pro. And there, of course, the price skyrockets. It will go uh, from $299 for the agency bundle unlimited and $699 for agency bundle lifetime unlimited. Now, if you're interested by Piotnet add-ons for Elementor, it starts at $40 for one site up to $160 for unlimited sites for a lifetime, which is a crazy deal. Now at the moment, there's an even crazier deal with a special 50% off. So it's $80. I think it's often, um, it often has a promotion. So you should be able to get it at that price, but it may just go up and ne never come back to that price. And we'll talk about that in a moment. Now, if you're interested by Ultimate Add-ons for Elementor, it starts at $55 per year for unlimited websites up to, if you want to go with the lifetime deal, 
$699, but it's not just for that plugin. It's for everything in the mini agency bundle. So ultimate add-ons for Elementor, 65 agency starter templates. You get Astro Pro, you get WP Portfolio, uh, you get Convert Pro, Schema Pro, Skilljet Academy, many, many other things. And it's unlimited websites for a lifetime. So no problem when you want to create a lot of different websites for your clients, you all get the licenses that you need to get the updates and the support. Now, if you're interested by the dynamic add-on, so dynamic.oo, it starts at 49 euros per year for one website up to 169 euros per year for 1000 websites. Apparently there's no lifetime plan with this one. Now, if you're interested by Jet Engine, you can get it for $26 per year. But like I said, it may be better to just, you know, get the bundle. Now, CrocoBlock comes with all types of bundles. And in my opinion, they should simplify it because it's kind of, you know, hard to understand what's going on here. So it starts at $80 per year up to, if you want to go unlimited, $750 for a lifetime unlimited license. Now, I remember earlier on, I told you when there's a lifetime license, make sure you go for it if you're interested because it may never be the same again. I remember I got that lifetime license for $299 when it was out and I could see the potential. It was not perfect, but nothing is perfect from the get-go, but I could feel that this was a good solution, a good deal. So I got it for $299 and at the time of recording this video, as you can see, it's $750. And in my opinion, it's worth even more. So I know it's a lot of money and actually I'm going to address this in a moment. So just for example, if you wanted to get the killer combo that I talked about, so the agency bundle for the Astra and Ultimate Addons for Elementor, that's going to be $699. And if you want to get uh, CrocoBlock on top of that, and I'm talking about the unlimited lifetime deal, that's going to be another $750. So all in all, it's $1,449, which may seem like a crazy lot of money for many people. I get you. But... The way I think about it is, first of all, you don't need that to get started. You can really start with the free version of Elementor and the free version of Astra, and you can create beautiful websites. Uh, it even comes with pre-started themes, um, uh, layouts, I mean, that you can use with Astra, and you can also get the Envato Elements uh, starter kits also. So just free tools, you can create your first beautiful websites, and you can start selling those websites. Now, I don't know where you live, so it may be completely different depending on where you live. Let's say you sell a website for 1K as a junior, even 500, but I wouldn't recommend those prices. For some people, it's even going to be not lower than 2K. For other people, it's going to be not lower than 3, 4, 5K. You get the idea. So what I'm trying to say is that let's say you sell a website for 1K. So with that 1K, maybe the first thing you should invest in is either one of these either you go with uh the astra agency bundle or you go with croco block so you don't have to purchase everything in one go but think about how much professional you're going to look when you know you're going to create a website for your client and it comes with a license it comes with support as long as they're your clients you know you can provide support because you have access to the support because you actually paid for something and you're paying for service and you only paid once so let's say in our example that you want to spend that 1500 almost 1500 dollars crazy combo after a couple of websites or just one website for some people it's all back in your pocket you won't have to ever invest in that package again so for the next 10 50 100 websites that you're going to create you won't have to pay a single dime extra and it will all be profit now granted there are some other tools that you may want to get to optimize the website but if you go with that mindset you're going to go far because that's how i started i just got one single uh add-on pack or maybe one plugin that could make me sell more websites i look more professional it was a better service and then you know of course i'm trying to keep a profit but i'm also re-injecting money in good tools 
So don't be discouraged by the price of some of these items. And don't forget, you can also start with the minimum first tier. So you could get Ultimate Addons for Elementor for $55. Just try it on one website. This is also one way you could do it. But at one point, if you really want to make this a business, you want to make money with web design, you got to think, how can I lower my cost per uh, website creation, per production? So, you know, in the long run, you're going to make much more money. You won't have to deal with all those licenses because you get all lifetime unlimited. Three, you will need to actually test in order to validate if those add-on packs are the best fit for you. Now, I completely understand it's not possible to purchase each and every add-on pack unless, you know, you're jam-packed with money. But if you really want to know what works, you're going to have to actually take some risk and test. And sometimes you lose, sometimes you win. I remember I purchased some of those add-on packs and, you know, sometimes they come with a really great lifetime deal when, you know, it's just the first days, the early birds. And... Sometimes I don't have the time to test in time. So I will only test it like three months later or six months later and my money's gone, you know, and sometimes I've made mistakes. But I can also say that sometimes I really had the good intuition and I purchased some add-on packs like the CrocoBlock deal at $2.99 and I've been using that on, you know, almost each and every website I work on in some way or another, I would use one feature of CrocoBlock it has brought my production level to another level. Free is great as long as everything works fine because when you need support with free stuff, unless it's free stuff from an established company that can give you support for the free stuff, but otherwise, what are you going to tell your client when the website is broken, nothing works, and all you can say is, well, I've contacted the person who uh, built the plugin, but this is a free plugin, it's open source, and you know they answer when they want to answer. Your client's not going to accept that. Now, of course, I love free stuff just like you do, but when it comes to business, you know, I feel more relaxed knowing that if I need support, I can get it. So I hope that you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up as it really helps growing the channel. Now, if you're not subscribed to the channel yet and you want more tips, more reviews, and basically your dose of digital alchemy, make sure you subscribe and smash the notification bell so that you don't miss anything. So that's it for this video. I hope to see you in the next one. And in the meantime, don't forget to invest in your success.